two terms that are easily confused are sensory adaptation and habituation. With sensory adaptation, what we're looking at is the idea of neural or sensory receptors changing or reducing their sensitivity to a continuous, unchanging stimulus. This process typically will go on in the brain. So one example would be adapting to hot or cold water after a brief time in it. Initially, when you first jump in the pool, you really freaked out. It's like, oh, it's cold, it's cold. Then after a little while, the, the, the temperature hasn't changed, but you become accustomed to it. Your senses have adapted to it. Same thing with the eyes adjusting to a darker room. The rods and cones will fire differently to make that adjustment. Cones typically will take about 10 minutes to adapt, and the rods will take about 30 minutes to fully adapt. That's why when you first go into a dark room, you can't see anything. And it takes you a while in order to be able to uh, see within that darkened room. And then one of my favorite examples is the smell of your own house. When you first walk into your own home, you might notice the smell. But because every home has its own smell, you get accustomed to that because it doesn't change. And so over a period of time, your senses will adapt to that and you will no longer notice that particular uh, uh, smell or, or, or sight or sound. Contrast that with habituation. And that's a uh, pattern of decreased response to a stimulus after frequently repeated exposure. And this goes on in the body. And so this is often uh, a reduced response to something that used to elicit a stronger response. So, for example, when, you f when a person, rather, because I'm assuming that you don't do these things, when a person first tries drugs or alcohol, they will have a very strong reaction to it. After a period of time using them, they no longer get the same outcome with the same amount of, uh, of drugs or of alcohol. Another example would be uh, when you're in a relationship. You no longer respond to that person that you were in love with as compared to when you first loved it or that favorite food that you first had. You've become habituated to it. So after uh, f uh, frequently, uh, respond, uh, frequently uh, repeated exposure, then you no longer respond to it as much as you used to. And again, this is uh, when something used to elicit a stronger response, but no longer does.